So liver pain is a very difficult problem for many patients. Patients have asked us to make an animated video. So in this video, we are showing a labral injury in the shoulder. This injury happens when you have an injury to the labrum and you may have problems such as shoulder dislocation. These kind of labral tears needs to be fixed along with using special anchors or sutures. So this is called as an arthroscopic labral repair or Bengard repair. So we can do this surgery arthroscopically and this can treat the problem. Also sometimes there are muscles which are there on anterior aspect and posterior aspect of the shoulder and here you see that the muscles which are there, this is the top muscle of the shoulder, this is called a supraspinatus and you can have tear in the supraspinatus in this zone. So whenever there is a tear like this, it needs to be addressed and this can be addressed with a specific anchor. This is called as a knotless anchor or a regular anchor and we pass sutures through the special uh, device and then we can just tie it over to its own place. So this is called as an arthroscopic rotator cuff repair surgery. This surgery can be performed with the use of arthroscope and we don't need to open the shoulder. Another example, we see here that the patient has pain in the shoulder and when we see and evaluate the muscles of the shoulder, we can see that there is a tear in the rotator cuff musculature. Here we can see that if we see the muscles beneath the deltoid, there is a large L-shaped tear and this has occurred in tendons which is diseased or which is poor in quality. So we can see that this tendon is poor in the quality and it is ruptured in an L-shaped fashion. This can be repaired nicely by use of suture anchors or sutures and by passing multiple sutures through the anchor we can actually tie the rotator cuff tendon which is torn back into its place. Once it is done we need the patient to be on rest for some time and then he will be once it is healed he will be able to do most of the things. Now we will be explaining a little bit of anatomy of the shoulder. So if you see this is your body and if you focus on the shoulder joint, the shoulder joint comprises of a ball and socket joint. The rotator cuff muscles surround the shoulder. There are two bones, humerus and scapula and the glenoid and the, and the humerus makes the shoulder joint. And these muscles do movements which lead to movement of the shoulder. So the shoulder is a very mobile joint and it can be moved to one, two, three, sixty degrees. And you can see that due to overuse or due to abuse, the shoulder tendons can be degenerated and torn like this. And these things, these kind of a degeneration tear can be addressed nicely with the use of arthroscopic repair techniques. So here we can see that this is a microstructure of the tendon which is poor. If you have any queries, you can write to us on the comment box. Thank you.